Hi, my name is Rachel Anderson and I'm RES's Community Relations Manager. I've worked for RES for the last four years. I'm based in Scotland and I look after the community liaison for our projects in development as they go through construction and on into operation. We're here today in Grant's House in the Scottish Borders for the public exhibitions for our proposed Pembrokeshire Wind Farm. We do our public exhibitions across a range of times, dates and venues to ensure that everybody in the community can come along and find out about the project that we're proposing in their local area. It's rather nice to see you here in our hall trying to show the community what uh, the wind farm at Penman Shield will actually look like and what's going to happen from now until it's built. I firmly believe that we need a good mix of power. I don't think we can say it should all be coal, it should all be wind, it should all be nuclear. Um, and I think it's quite refreshing to see that you actually do have information like that here. I came here to see what exactly the distances the windmills would be from Grand South West and, and uh, the approach road. And looking at the charts and the photographs, uh, has given me a better view. You give them photo montages, which it gives uh, the impression of wh what it's going to look like should it go to full planning application. Th that is good because then the public can see what's actually going to look like. With each project that we develop, we undertake a stakeholder audit. This gives us an idea of who in the community we need to be consulting with and which is the best way to communicate with those people. We have project specific websites, newsletters, letters, meetings, and community liaison groups. We've also started to use social media to ensure that people who miss out on finding out through traditional methods can also be kept up to date with our project as it progresses. From RES we've had very good communication. A good few months ago they contacted all the community councils in the area that would be affected or potentially affected by the wind farm and gave us a chance to ask questions and they gave us information and set up a series of meetings. And all the residents have had um, the newsletter um, about progress so far and giving a time scale of what will happen from now until completion. We believe in transparent and honest community consultation. A sensitively designed wind farm will be an asset to a local area and as a company we have nothing to hide. I've dealt with RES before and I've been to one of their previous uh, wind farms at Black Hill near Duns. Uh, one thing that's impressed us with RES is the openness and the fact that they are willing to share and be very open in their planning application. But we shall wait and see when the full planning application is submitted. You can't make a decision just on uh, what you see here today. But I think you're doing a great job. I think you're putting over the presentation of the scheme that they want to achieve very well. I would say that so far the communication and um, information we've received from RES has been the best, without question.